Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to turn a picture into this watercolor portrait effect inside Adobe Photoshop. And then I'm gonna show you how to use it as a template so you can easily apply the same effect to other pictures without going through the whole process again. And this will save you a lot of time and work. So we'll be using three elements, these two watercolor textures and this brush. And you will find down in the description below a link to each of these elements that we'll be using for this tutorial. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it! Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and go to File, New and in the presets in here, choose International Paper and in the size, choose A4 and then press OK now, go to this background in here and right click and then choose convert to smart object. Now, just double click to this layer in here and as you can see, it will open in a new document. Now, just grab the image that you want to use. I'm just gonna open it like that and then just make the face visible because it's a portrait effect. All right, something like that and then press enter. Now we need to save it, so you can just press Ctrl S on your keyboard or you know, just go to File and then choose Save. Alright, now just close this and as you can see you'll find it in here saved. Alright, now we're gonna make a copy of this, so I'm gonna press Ctrl J on my keyboard and we're gonna uncheck this, we can use it later. Now we're gonna apply a sharpen filter to this, so I'm gonna go to Filter, Sharpen and then choose Sharpen in here. Now we're gonna repeat this sharpening so we can easily just by pressing Ctrl F it will repeat it for us. Now we're gonna uh, apply a, a black and white adjustment color so we're gonna go and choose black and white in here and then in this icon in here just one click to it and it will clip it to this picture. Now I will go and choose brightness and contrast and again I will make it as a clipping mask like that and then I'm gonna make the brightness minus 50 and the contrast 100 and then I will go and choose curves and then I will make a clipping mask again and then in this black input in here I'm gonna put 40 and in this white input I'm gonna put 215 alright now I will go back and choose brightness and contrast again again I will make it as a clipping mask and in contrast in here I will make it 50 again all right something like that and then I will go to this one in here and I will make it uh, multiply and then I will make the opacity 50% just for now all right now I will make a copy of it and I will put it in the top in here and then I will go and choose filter, filter gallery and in the sketch folder in here just open it and choose charcoal and you know for this one it's depend actually on how big or small your picture is but uh, I just put 2 in the thickness and 4 in the details and 60 in the balance between light and dark but you know just uh, experience with the values in here before you use this and press OK. All right, now I'm gonna make a copy of this one again. So I'm gonna press Alt and put it in the top. And then I will open this arrow in here and I will uh, double click to this filter gallery and I'm gonna modify this charcoal uh, filter in here. So now I will go to the artistic folder in here and I'm gonna choose dry brush and in the brush size I will put 10 and in the brush details I will put 8 and in the texture I will put 1 and again it depends on how big or small your picture you might need like to experience with the values in here and then press OK now I will make the opacity 40% alright now uh, I will go and grab my watercolor texture in here just open it and press enter and I will put it under this first picture in here and the reason why we reduce the opacity so we can see 
uh, our picture like this. It looks better. Now I will press Ctrl T and we're gonna place it in here. You can also rotate it if you want. Something like that. I'm gonna make it bigger from here. Alright. Okay, I like that. Please enter. Now I will go back and I'm gonna grab the other texture in here. Please enter. And I'm gonna change it to multiply. And I'm gonna put it on the top like that. Please control T. Alright, somewhere like so. I'm gonna make it smaller. Right, something like that. Please enter. Now maybe in here. Alright. Okay, now we need to group this uh, watercolor texture together. So I'm gonna, by pressing Ctrl, one click to this one, I can select it too. And then press Ctrl G, so I can make it in a group. I'm gonna call it water texture. And then I'm gonna apply a hue saturation to it. So I'm gonna go and choose hue saturation. And I'm gonna make it as a clipping mask. Uh, and the reason why we did this, so we can easily change the color of this watercolor. And as you can see, like that, we can easily change the color and choose whatever we want. Alright, so I'm gonna keep it zero for now. Alright. Now we need like to group everything together. So I'm gonna start from this watercolor texture and then by pressing shift I can one click to this one in here and it will select it all. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl G and it would make it as a group and I'm gonna call this artwork. Alright, now we need to make a, a background. So I'm gonna go and choose solid color in here and I'm gonna choose a random color. Maybe greenish color like that. All right, and I'm gonna put it under this one in here. And in this artwork uh, folder in here, I will make a black layer mask. So by pressing Alt and one click to this layer mask, I can make it a black layer mask. And then I will grab a brush and then right click and choose this gear icon and then choose replace brushes. And then just load the brush you that, that you just downloaded from the link in the description below and press load. And you know, just start brushing uh, with the different brushes in here. So I'm gonna start with this one in here. And as you can see, we don't see exactly where we're gonna brush in here. So you can easily fix that by double click to this layer mask and make the density to 50%. And this way you can see where we want to start or from here all right so i'm gonna rotate my brushes like that i'm gonna start from here All right, something like that. Now we can go back to the density in here and make it 100% again. And as you can see, it's starting to look really good. Now we can easily also uh, go and change the color of our background. So we can either uh, apply a hue saturation to it and make it as a clipping mask. And as you can see, we can easily change the color. In the saturation or you know we can go to the color itself and make it as we want maybe black if we want as you can see it looks good and we have that option I'm just gonna make it zero in here I'm gonna ch change it to this color in here all right something like that and then we can go back to this uh, hue saturation again and you know change the color of our uh, water color texture in here 
as you can see it's really cool as you can see it looks really great and I like this one all right okay it looks good all right now the last thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna apply a vibrance adjustment so we're gonna go and choose vibrance and I would, I'm gonna make it as a clipping mask again and then I'm gonna make the vibrance 70 and the saturation 7 all right you know, just to enhance the color of our picture in here now uh, the reason why we left this on the top we can just make the fill to zero and the opacity to zero and then just double click to it and it would open so we can place our picture or a new picture let's for example let's place this one in here make it bigger you can focus on the face like that All right and press enter now I can just press Ctrl S on my keyboard and it will save. All right, now if I go back, I will find this in here saved as a watercolor effect. As you can see, it looks really cool and uh, in a really good quality. So I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.